kita medyo pwede. Um, una sa lahat po, ako yung nag-volunteer ni Bosvig na ah, gawin niya yung project. Kasi way back 2019, uh, hindi ako yung original director, di ba? Meron mga iba. Tapos hindi matuloy-tuloy. Tapos sa isang meeting, nabangit, nakwento lang sa akin ni Bosvig na yun na, hindi matuloy-tuloy. So, I volunteer. Kasi po, hindi nyo, this might come as a surprise sa mga tao na aware sa film work na ganyan, pero mas ganito talaga yung hiling kong pelikula. Di ba po, medyo kilala ako sa romance, gano'n. So, yung mga romance, romance po, is more of, uh, yun po kasi yung, natin po yung trabaho. Di ba po? And I have learned to love the genre ng romance. Pero kung ako talaga yung papipiliin, gagawa ako ng huling pelikula ko sa mundo. Mas at home po ako sa mga fantasy, uh, sci-fi, horror, o uh, ano po yung mga gusto ko doon. So, nung, uh, yung opportunity, gindrap mo po. At um, ano mo pa kito pindun ko na yung title mo pa? Yung title mo. Um, kasi po it's been a decade or more than a decade since yung last Pedro Pedro Ho movie. Uh, And I gusto kong i-share si Pedro ko sa mga bagong generation, sa mga Gen Z. Uh, so, parang gusto ko ano lang, yung, isa lang yung title na simple, madali siyang i-hashtag, madali siyang i-print sa t-shirt, <laughs> sa poster. So, feeling ko ano, bagay na Pedro ko lang muna as a way of reintroducing uh, Pedro Pedro ko sa new generation. Oo, oh, kasi hindi kilala lang talaga ng mga Gen Z. Ah, okay. Pwede ko lang talaga. Um, ito lang baka pwede rin may dagdag si Mateo at saka si, si Kylie. Kasi sabi naman nila ni, ni Kuya Mario, parang is yung pinaka-buff yata na Pwede 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 si Mateo. From the thing talaga, kahit sa trailer, parang lumalabas yung kaseksihan nila. Saan so, hindi ako ba talaga na may pambata siya, uh, kung ano siya, wholesome. Pero ang sexy pa rin ang dating ni, ni Kylie. Eh si Kylie na mapanood natin most of her films talaga, mapasexy siya, but this time mapapanood siya ng mga bata. Um, sinadya ba kahit si Mateo, yung mga pakili-kili reveal pa siya, ang sexy pa rin ang dati. Sinadya mo ba talaga direct ang sexy pa rin ang dati nila? Yung mga bata na pinagula. I think yung pagiging sexy nila is dahil sexy talaga siya. Sino man talaga sila? Oo, oh, hindi naman parang, uy, kunin natin si ganyan. Sa- hindi yung parang kinuha dalit dahil sexy kasi nga it's supposed to be a family movie eh sadyang sexy lang sila ko natin na nagawa nyo pero kung baga hindi naman naging factor yung kung kahit hindi natin sinasinexualize to attract more viewers hindi siya ganito na so parang diba sa mga superhero movies din naman from the US sina Captain America, sina Thor buff din sila, sometimes sexy Um, sino si Scarlett Johansson? Uh, Black Widow. Black Widow, di ba? Sexy sila, kahit without revealing much. So, ikataon lang. Oh, very action ka pa. Kasi may mga most of her films, of your films na naman. I beg to disagree that ah, most okay. of my films are sexy. If you watch my recent films, I did one last year with direct Jason Wallach. Samhana, uh, baby boy, baby girl na nag number one ako sa Amazon Prime, which had no sexy scenes at all. Pero sexy ba yung dating mo? Sometimes it's not my fault anymore, baka po sa pag-perceive nyo na lang or something, pero <laughs> but I don't know, I don't try to be sexy or anything, I guess that's
lalaki ang pwede makipagkaway. May mga baba, may mga babae na pwede mag-excel in different forms of, let's say, martial arts. Ako po, ba ni Victoria dun sa class namin. So, it's a representation na kaya maging malakas ng mga women. And even though I look like this, and pinaghihirapan ko naman din po, it's, it's not that sexy lang po yung, yung tawag sa akin. I feel like I'm more than that. Thank you. 
dito. But today, at least for me, what stood out in what you were saying was, um, meron siya talagang Marvel element. Not naman po to say na pinakamagaling sila. Pero like you said, may taste na mga Pilipino for Marvel movies and the way they make it. If you can just um, go a little bit more into detail doon sa aspect na yun para ma-excite din yung mga fans ng, ng Marvel movies to really watch the movie. Well, when I say Marvel movies, because uh, Marvel movies, they uh, have a really rich na universe that they are doing. Na nakita mo rin yung effort na ina-adjust nila sa present time. Di ba kasi supposed to be yung mga superhero sa'yo, ginawa sila early 1900s, mid, uh, mid 1900s pa, di ba? Pero nagawa nila i-transport yung story nila at going relevant sa 21st century or sa ano ba dekada ngayon. Masa sa present time. So, ganito rin, isip ko rin si Pinduko kung paano natin siya gagawing relevant ulit. Sino yung mga kalaban niya kung paano natin gagawing relevant sa perspective ng Pinoy sa, uh, sa panahon ngayon. So, yun lang naman kasi ang galing ng Marvel sa ganito. Yes, yes. Yung weaving in stories together. Yes. But I was also thinking more of um, yung pong effects po na uh, ginagamit natin. Now, is it really so much different than probably past pentungkos um, that, that we've seen? Well, I will try to be real na hindi natin kaya ang tapatan yung effects na meron yung Hollywood. Diba? Not even the Koreans can match yung level of effects ng Hollywood. Um, that's why I decided to focus on uh, the story more. Uh, pero meron pa rin. Ang sinasabi ko lang, hindi lang ako nag-depend masyado sa naman. Diba? Kasi magmumukhang try hard kung hindi kaya ng pull off. Diba? at magiging distracting lang talaga dun sa kwento. Diba? So, pag napanood yung movie, you will see visual effects. But all are, ano pa yung, uh, in the service of the story. Yun. So, nothing pilit, of course. I can't hear you. Walang pilit, direct. Walang. Ayaw ko nung, nung mukhang pilit, try hard, tapos gagawin memes ng mga tao sa Facebook. <laughs> Ayaw, natin ko mga sa gano'n. Kaya lang ito sinasabi sa staff ko nun, uh, tsaka dun sa visual effects na gumagawa, kaya ba natin or hindi? Pag hindi natin kaya, huwag natin pinitin kasi magiging katatawa nun lang. Okay, thank you, Director. Salamat. Thank you so much. And um, maybe just one more question, uh, of course, for Kylie. Kylie, I think another question na you know, we'd like to learn from you. Sabi mo nga, puro love stories and rom-coms. Ang mga nagagawa mo lately, and obviously this is your first adjustment na uh, na ramdam man po or what is, is it was it a relief na medyo mas and mas fun walang hebat drama and all of that I was actually medyo last minute kasi nagtobi ni guys sa akin ng and even though my schedule was a bit packed sobrang pinawat ko po ng paraan because I know I didn't want to go into this movie unprepared so alam ko, medyo mabigat po yung training, mabigat yung um, the, the script, uh, malalim yung Tagalog. So ang hinihingi ko po kagad is I want to train more for action. And I've always wanted to do action. I think I'm, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm a very active person. So siguro nag-train ka ba na more than a month or two. For, for just a few fight scenes, I didn't want na bilit ayoko na mukhang soft or early girl pa rin. So I really wanted, and I think ko po na mas matrain pa kami more, more for these action scenes. And uh, I'm so happy. Kala ko na even just looking at the training videos, parang wow, nagawa ko pala yun. And even looking at some clips, parang I'm happy with the way it turned out. Thank you. And one last question for Mateo. Measure this universe question, if you don't mind. <laughs> with with Buka's powers, you know, what, what would you like to uh, change or solve or sa mundo natin ngayon, given Buka's powers? Thank you very much for the question. <laughs> okay. uh, they asked me several weeks ago if I had a power of choice, what would it be? And I think it 
also correlates with the character of Ben Dugo, no? I think the most awesome, the most important power, the power I'd wish to have is the power of love. Um, if we just uh, continue loving one another, uh, spreading the love, being an example to others, just appreciate each and every one of our peers, no? Just spread the love. I think this can really create a ripple effect of change. Yes, it sounds cliche, it sounds simple and all, but uh, if we really put it into heart and make it as genuine and as true as possible, I think we can change the world slowly with love. Hey, you're through to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Tessa. Let's go on to the other side of the line from Lightheart TV. We have Floel Galites. Hello, sir Floel. It also hit that song. Uh, Connection of the Filipinos to the mythology, to the, to the creatures, Filipino creatures. So, paano mo siya na connect or paano mo siya dadaluhin yung mga Filipino mythology in terms of a new approach dito sa Filipino? Sorry, nasa ka? Di parang kita na. Ano mo sa Ah, yun. Ano ulit? Sorry, paano? How do you reintroduce the, kasi di ba, when it was created by Francisco Conching as a comics? Uh, the Penduco was more on the intro, uh, introduction of Filipino mythology. So, how do you reconnect with the new generations of uh, Penduco aside from using the, uh, the, the concept of uh, Marvel Universe? Because it's like reconnecting them with their roots. Oh, um, kaya na sabi ko, if there's one thing na consistent sa mga versions of Pedro Penduco, it's that uh, lagi may Filipino folklore, Filipino mythology na involved, di ba? So, yung sa amin, kahit na sa city naka-based si, ano, si Pedro Pendoco, um, meron pa rin siyang skills at saka kaalaman na about sa mga agiman, sa pananambal, tapos nakakita siya ng mga anito, mga laman lupa. So parang sinundan, yung ganung magic, uh, sinundan siya sa city. So, tapos, um, ako kasi, uh, I'm a strong believer na kaya naman dalhin yung kultura ng Pilipino kahit sa modern times. Eh. Di ba? So, pati yung artist na integrate ko, yung Filipino martial arts, tapos uh, dito sa Pedro Pinto ko, pinilabas kasi natin na parang mayroong uh, secret or underground na uh, training center or academy para sa mga sa mga tao para merong psychic gift of healing of sorcery nito. So, alam mo yun, parang kinikiliti ko yung imagination ng mga tao na uy, mahalin mo, meron sa Manila na doon. So, yun. Parang ano lang, strategy, strategy lang para ma-integrate pa rin yung Filipino folklore and mythology kahit na set siya sa modern times at saka sa city. Thank you. Uh, last question to Sir Albert. Uh, hindi naman natin magpagkakala na you already did a Pedro Penduco before. So, as one met uh, Penduco. So, uh, how does it feel na nakadalawang generation ka na ng Penduco? And at the same time, uh, is there, paano mo may i-describe before? And then this Penduco na ginawa mo ngayon with, with Viva? Uh, to start with, definitely, is a Gen Z version of Pentuco. The first Pentuco na ginawa namin is more the traditional classic style. Ito, the Gen Z can relate sa lahat ng uh, situations, uh, dreams, aspirations, and misfortunes of Gen Z, which I must thank uh, that I have come up with something new, something different. Saka, sa panlasa ko, no? So I believe huli natin yung, yung generation nyo. Uh, as far as uh, yung difference ng dalawang characters nyo, uh, I enjoyed the moment mo with uh, being one with the world. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a fun turn, but doing 
this particular bindu role, I was given a chance to be not me. They gave me a character, a character that doesn't look like me, a character that doesn't talk like me, but a character that created by the writer. And I'm so proud to be part of this, and I, I congratulate uh, uh, Mateo to be the Pindugo of this generation. Thank you, Sir Floel. Now we have from My Movie World, Bernard Santos. Sir Bernard. Pedro Pinduco ang TV naman, but for the skin off. 
Yes, so, same question then, but how do you see the difference of doing that show a few years back uh, and then it's one of the people that have a larger scale with us and well, like uh, Tito Amber said a while ago, um, this is something different. Uh, before kasi, when I was doing uh, Pedro Pendobo at Mga Ikang Tao, I'm also a hero. I'm one of the heroes also. And then, uh, ito naman, parang, uh, parang pinagsama ko lahat ng uh, makapangyarihan sa isang pelikula. And somehow, for the Jet Seas to do, somehow really, yun yung... Uh, pinakita na execution in direct Jason Pollock sa mana. That's why it's totally different from uh, from before. But uh, it was fun before doing Katao. Uh, medyo nakapagod lang din kasi actions talaga. At uh, nagsimula na din ako sa actions before. So somehow, for me, it helped me a lot uh, doing this film when it comes to uh, action uh, scenes. Uh, doing my action scenes with Mateo sa training ground namin. So, masasabi ko, this is totally different and special. At uh, considering na si Mateo yung gaganap, like I said kanina, bagay na bagay kasi. Dahil yung uh, personality ni Mendoco at somehow yung personality ni Mateo, uh, pareho. So, mas, uh, mas ma-appreciate ng tao panoorin itong pelikula. And then, ano rin yung i-expect namin sa dynamics ninyo ni Mateo? Kasi based on the trailer, parang kayo yung Resort Rivals or Mateo. As always! Diba? Ako happy ako sa character ko. And it's a reunion na rin for me and with Derek Jason. Nakakatawa ka kayo sena sa Mateo at hindi rin namin nagawasan yung magkatamaan kami. Pero it's part of it, diba? At uh, it's a big opportunity again for me uh, to be part of a Metro Manila Film Fest. And uh, considering it's a good movie, kaya sabi ko tatanggapin ko yan kahit anong mangyari. So I'm blessed and very grateful for this uh, material. Okay. Si Mateo, makakaroon ang mga ad about yung mga fights in Sony Aaron, kung paano yung i-expect natin sa mga <laughs> Yung mga tamahan lang. Masaya din yung fight scenes namin ni Aaron. Actually, yung one of them, iba-iba yung experience namin. Pero si Aaron talaga kamasya talaga ako eh. Diba kasi matagal na kami kung nasa ako ni Aaron, but I think this is the first project together. So it was exciting sa fight scene. Siyempre sa mga rehearsals namin sa training, paano pa kami, parang pa-professional kami dalawa. Pero sa totoong buhay, talaga kamasya ako eh. Ito ko, bigay, bigay. So it was a good experience then. Alam mo na, matigas na si Aaron, so, di ba, kahit hampasin ko yan, hampasin niya. For the movie, kasi ayaw namin ni Mateo mapanood kami ng tao na ano ba yan, parang dinadaya naman, mas no baby yung fight scene. Sa alam naman, di ba, we don't want to waste scenes like that. Yeah, it was all choreographed, and everything was safe naman, it was all properly done by, of course, our fight director, Erwin Tagli, of course, the direction of Direct Paul. But everything was good. It was very nice and precise. And with some hits, but it was nice. It was a good... Mas... Sakit na mas sakit pa. Ano yun pa? It's not perfect, but it's very good. Sure, for the record, nang wala nang na-offend or whatever. Sa mga sakit. Na-offend? Ah, wala. Wala naman, no? Hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you so much for it. Thank you, Sir JP. And now from the blog, CJ Sip, we have CJ Boado. Hi, Bo. Dr. Bo. My first question is for Miss Kylie for this one. So, hi, Miss Kylie. So, nung binigay sa'yo yung role na liway, may naging girl type ka pa nung nabasa mo yung script? Yes, I'm the type to always ask my director kung sino ba talaga yung bang niya for this. And um, ang binigay ni direct was Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson. And I'm such a big fan of the film, so sinabi niyo, yes, it's perfect. But I also started watching a few more girl superheroes, mga Wonder Woman, um, Angelina Jolie Peg. So, pinag-combine ko lang yung dalawa. Feeling ko si Liway mas personality ni Black Widow with a bit of yung angst ni, let's say, um, Tomb Raider, 
Pero mas blanco ito yung pen namin. Thank you, Ms. Kai. And my last, my last question is for Derek J.P. and Mr. Mateo. So, di ba po ang pen ko para ang target market is family. So, ano po yung may expect naming lessons na gusto nyo ma-impart from the Gen Z sa movie na to? Uh, well, let's start with uh, Mateo. Yeah, family, ba? Marami, marami. Um, actually, it relates not just sa ating mga kabataan, but um, to a very uh, wide market, no? teenagers, young adults, adults, etc. Because it's about the boy with a big dream. It's about the boy with a really big, hungry dream that he wants to have success for himself, for his families, for his father, and for his community. Now, Nung may trabaho talaga siya, ginawa niya lahat, ginawa lahat ng mga trabaho, nakuha niya yung success niya, nakuha niya yung pera niya, nakuha niya lahat. And like with a cliche line, with great power comes great responsibility. I think this really, this really happens, but when you have so much power in your hands, you can use it in a positive, negative way. Now, that was the dilemma of Pindungo ngayon. Anong gagawin ko ngayon dito? Ito, ang lakas na kamay ko, ang lakas na power natin. So I guess that can relate to our kapataan. Now, with of course social media, of course, lahat tayo may tindi ng power natin sa kamay natin dahil pag i-post natin yan, di ba? So, again, with this great power, how do you use it for a great, for good responsibility or good examples for the next, for the kapataan, no? So, you know, I think a lot of people will relate. One, because Pindu was a dreamer. He's a hungry man for success. And ngayon, pag may power na siya, paano nang gamitin yung power na yan? So, yun, yeah, sa so pelikula makakita niya yung ups and downs ng character. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Thank you. Tsaka to add, in, uh, in the version of Pinto ko nito, it also explores uh, identity. Yeah, in terms of, uh, kasi for context lang. Si Pedro nito, anak ng isang albularyo na super sikat dun sa village nila. Um, kaso, uh, yung albularyo yun, played by John Arcidia, hindi siya naninigil. So, kahit na sikat sila, uh, masasabi natin parang mahirap yung pamumuhay nila. And si Pedro, nung bata siya, uh, parang hindi niya matanggap kasi meron siyang mga pangarap na mag-aaral sa city. Uh, alam mo yun, to live a materially wealthy life. And since hindi sila magkasun, yung tatay lang kasi paniniwala niya, Uh, since meron siyang gift of healing, dapat ibigay yun ng libre sa mga tao. So ngayon, si Pedro, naglayas, pumunta sa city para gumawa ng something out of himself. So, the film explores kung, uh, alam yan yung kalimutan mo ba dapat yung roots mo, or uh, i-maintain mo yung roots mo, or i-welcome mo yung modernity. So, it explores themes like that, aside from doon sa mga sinabi ni Pedro about Uh, you know, using your talent or your team for the betterment of society. So, isa yun, dun sa... Isa yun sa mga conscious decision na ginawa ko na sana magkaroon yung uh, new pendu ko ng mga ganun. Kasi yung mga past, I'm not saying na wala naman silang lessons. Pero they were more of, oh, magpakatapang ka, it's uh, an enemy. So dito, it explores more, ano, uh, themes. Family, you have every family. Friendship, uh, identity, and uh, using your gift for the betterment of society. Thank you, Sir CJ. Now from Anong Ganap, we have Erwin Ogawa. Sir Erwin. Thank you. So, good afternoon. Uh, good again. I'm going to give you a bubble teaser. Good job. Well uh, for Mateo, uh, I'm curious to know. Uh, growing up, who can look on our Hollywood superhero? I'm going to look up. Uh, na nakapag-inspire sa iyo to portray Pendugo? Um, not necessarily superhero, but I consider them superheroes. Um, sila Bruce Lee. Yung yun, napakatindi talaga. Um, Bruce Lee. Um, back when I was growing up, I remember sa sofa, sa sofa kami ni Papa, sa so, mga pelikula pinapanood namin, Bruce Lee, si Sylvester Stallone, at si Van Damme, at saka si Terminator. No? Sila yung mga pinapanood ko. So, Uh, we're here today, 2023, uh, you know, I'm portraying a, a Filipino superhero, so I hope this can really be a great example to, to the youth, of course, and, and just to, again, to remind the Filipino here and abroad how important and how amazing it is to be Pinoy. Yung mga 
cult, yung mga culture sa'yo, yung mga tradisyon natin, lahat-lahat ng mga yan, yung ito po sa pelikula. Thank you, Mansi. Ibang class, a similar question. Sino yung superhero or local or international ang gusto nyo i-portray? Pinapatasay siya i-portray in the future. Or parang ano, yung fantasy na. Sa lahat ng class. What's the answer? TV? Sino yung superhero?
next? So, ako naman po, siguro si Superman. Since I was a child, really, uh, na-addict po ako Superman. And marami po siyang power, so mas marami po yung chance and capability niya to help people. Thank you. I would say Wonder Woman. Because, because, because she's a role model for kids. Because she has super strength. And she's a really good role model again. Woman empowerment. Yes. So I think I would love to be Wonder Woman for a superhero. Okay, thank you guys. Go for it.